Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is working towards becoming a household name. He's a talented singer who was discovered while performing on trains in New York City. He's gone on to become a cast member on VH1 show Sign. Here to talk about his new single, Dive. Please welcome Tyler Jacob to the circle. Yeah. Yes, Hi. absolutely. Oh, are you? Let me just tell you, you're so handsome. Yes. Yes. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, he's too sexy. <laughs> 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 so yes. it's awesome. So listen, you are a newbie to the limelight. Yes. But what draws you to music? Why are you have why do you have such a passion for music? And you're working really hard to make your music known. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, well, you know, I've loved music since I could remember, you know what I mean? I was born and my mother always told me that if I love something, you know what I mean, make sure I go for it. So right. uh, so yeah, so since uh, I could remember seeing artists on TV and uh, watching them perform and knowing that I had a passion for it, I'm like, I have to do that. So yeah. Um, I, when I was five years old, I played Simba in The Lion King uh, in my right. elementary school. Wow. Yeah. And being on stage. <laughs> that Simba did it, didn't yeah. it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, being on stage, I mean, at that point, I was like, I have to do this for the rest of my yeah. life. Yeah. yeah. Who, who, who is someone, what musically, that you look up to? I mean, to be honest, if I have to be my most honest self, it would be Brandy. Wow. Yeah. 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 I love her so much. That's yeah. a good yeah. word. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly her favorite. vocals are amazing. They, they are amazing. They are. Yeah. So I have to admit, you know, I always thought I was going to be discovered walking through the mall. What about you guys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it happened for you on the subway in New York City. How does this happen? Tell us about that. That's amazing. Well, I was born and raised in Camden, New Jersey. And for those who don't know, it's a very, um, a very poor type city. And so I learned at a very young age to hustle for money. Mm -hmm. And so um, when I moved to New York City at the age of 17, um, I decided, you know, I don't want to work the nine to five. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is use my passion uh, to make some money. And we used to get on the train. Me and my uh, couple of friends of mine would get on and we would sing on the train. Wow. And, um, and, and, be, and having the confidence to do that um, opened the door for me to do a whole bunch of other things because yeah. it was like getting on a stage, you know what I mean, for random people. Mm -hmm. and, um, and yeah, so doing that is what, is what led me. What to was that. your go-to song? Um, it was always uh, Deborah Cox and RL's uh, <laughs> We Can't Ooh. Be Friends. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. Yes. But you know, you, you, you didn't stop there. You ended up uh, being signed on VH1 signed. Yes. So tell us about that experience for you. It was a very interesting experience, um, only because you know I went on there giving my all and mm -hmm. hoping to. Of course, it was with Lenny S, Rick Ross, and the Dream. Mm -hmm. And um, I went on there thinking that it was going to be my life changing, mm -hmm. life changing moment, and it, it it actually wasn't that at all. I went on there and um, and you know they felt like I was mediocre. Oh wow! Yeah, and um, but at the same time it, it pushed me. You know what mm -hmm. I mean to say, listen, I'm gonna make sure that I prove everyone on this on this panel wrong. Mm -hmm. And and yeah, so I'm excited to see what's next. You're still proving them wrong. Still yeah. proving them wrong. Yeah, God is good. God is good. To. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I, like I love how vulnerable you are and authentic. Uh, true you are to yourself, authentically true to yourself. Um, you are an openly gay male. I am. Um, talk about that process uh, for you telling the world and why did you feel like it was necessary? Um, well, I, I told the world because, um, you know, it was something that all my entire life was looked down upon and um, from, from my family down to my friends. Mm -hmm. And so I just felt like I was hiding. I felt like I was hiding my, who I was. Mm -hmm. And it, even though a lot of people from, the, from first meeting me, they couldn't tell, I still felt like I was lying, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And so one day my mother uh, asked me why me and my friend were arguing so much all the time. And so that day I just said to my mom, you know, hey, that's, you know, my, my partner. Mm -hmm. and, and, and getting the response that I did from her allowed me to tell the world, you know, like, listen, this is who I am. And, yeah, and I know that when right. the doors open for me the way that God has planned them to, um, you know, that I wanted to be my most genuine self. Yeah. And the only way to get there is to, is to tell the people who I really am. Yeah. But you know, it's really no one's business. It is. <laughs> right, it really is. No, I feel you. Don't say it. I feel you, I feel you. Yes, absolutely. But I, I, you know, I just never wanted to be in what they call the closet, you know what yeah. I mean? So that way when I, when I present myself to people, it's not something that people are like, well, is he, is he not? So when Little Nas X came out, you really understood why he came out so, so soon. soon. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. People thought Absolutely. it was a publicity thing. And he's just like, Because no. understand, credibility is everything. You That's know what true. I mean? And so if someone finds out through the back door, then it kind of, it could ruin you, you know what I mean? Right. Especially yeah. in this industry. Right. It's crazy because all three of us have watched the Aaron Hernandez story. Um, yes. And he was talking about, yeah. exactly. you know, everything was so 
revealing because yeah. he was closeted and you know he had to deal with that. And, and no one knew. It came his, right. changed totally his left. demise really. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. My goodness, my mm -hmm. goodness. So glad that you are on the forefront of that. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate you be that. free Thank to you. who you want to be. Yeah. 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 That's All right. That's what you want to be. Not only are you serving up music, you're serving face too. Yes. Get into that mug. Yes. Thank you so much. You are very strikingly gorgeous. Oh my God. Thank you. High cheekbones. You mm -hmm. have a nice chiseled chin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, right. I got features. I got features. Yes, you do. All of you are beautiful. I think you can be one of the barges. <laughs> can, 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 oh, my God. You know what's crazy? Growing up, they used to always tell me I look like Chico the Barge. That's why I said Oh, my God. You do. You know what? You and that's a compliment, so thank you. When they were casting for that movie, you should have actually. Oh, listen. If you guys are casting, I'll definitely play it. Next time. Make sure you check that out. It was really good. Oh, definitely. I was going to check that out. Let's talk a little bit more about your modeling. How did you get into that? Um, so I had the beautiful opportunity to be able to be a stylist for some great celebrities, even my idol, Brandy. Mm -hmm. um, nice. And so going into the BTS world mm -hmm. behind the scenes and, um, and really kind of seeing how everything works. It's for, I've, I've always loved fashion. I went to school at Creative, Ar uh, Creative Arts where everyone was like out of the box. But styling behind the scenes allowed me to, to see the process, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And, and that gave me the opportunity to say, you know what, I can, I can actually be a hundred percent who I am and, and dress how I, how I want to dress. And so, yeah, so that allowed me to, to get with some photographers. And, um, and from there, I, I took pictures, gave my all as far as my mental and my soul. And, and people responded to it really well. You're still yeah. modeling now, right? I still am modeling, yeah. All right, you yes. better <laughs> right, right. Oh, yes. Yes. You are just multi-talented. That is awesome. I appreciate it. And that. we know you love your music, clearly. I love, listen, I'm a singer-songwriter with a, with a passion for, for fashion. I yes. like that. <laughs> I like that. So if you could collaborate with anyone mm. musically, who would it be? I would have to say, if it was a producer, I would love to, uh, to collaborate with Kate Trinata. Oh, yes! Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's one of my favorite artists <laughs> and producers. Yeah, sorry, and if he's were, amazing. If they were uh, a singer, of course, I would love to, to, to collaborate with my idol, Brandy. Nice. Yeah, you got to stay ready. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank, thank you guys really for having me. I'm really happy to have you here today. Yeah. And just, you're just beautiful to yeah. look at. No, and you all guys are all beautiful. It's a great energy. It's a beautiful thing. So please make sure you follow him on Instagram at Tyler Jacob Official. Let's give it up for this amazingly talented man.